Which glass is actually burglar proof? That's exactly what I'm going to explain to you in this video. There are eight different resistant classes and we'll attack a few of them in a moment. Basically, it's all about the European standard EN356, where there are eight resistant classes. One is the lowest, eight is the highest. But be aware, there is a huge potential for confusion between class 5 and 6. Resistant classes P1A to P5A are impact resistant. We'll show you that in a moment. On the other hand, the burglar resistant resistant classes are called P6B, P7B and the highest P8B. We will show you how they behave in a moment. We'll start with P1A glazing, which is the lowest resistant class. Impact resistant. I'll take the stone. Let's see what the pain can withstand. See, it's impact resistant. The stone doesn't fly through, but whether it's burglar resistant, we'll see in a moment. So now let's see if this P1A pane also provides some burglary protection. Oh, That was quick. Apparently it doesn't. A big hole in the pane. Impact resistant, yes. Burglary protection, not at all. How is such a pain made? I'll show you. Come with me. Usually, these impact resistant panes consist of two glass plates. How do I connect them? With a so-called PVB film. That's what it looks like. Let's quickly cut it to size. I use scissors for this. And this PVB film, which stands for polyvinyl butyral, is then placed between the two sheets of glass. And now this package goes into the so-called outer cloth. Here the film melts and becomes transparent. With P5A glass, the film is just a little bit thicker. I have brought both for you. Here P1A glass and here P5A glass. And how does P5A glass behave? I'll show you that now. How many hits do you think the P5A glass can withstand? Feel free to post in the comments. Oh, not too much. There is a hole very quickly. And I can make the hole bigger, relatively easy. I'll show you. I'll hit it again. So, impact resistant, yes. Burglar proof, no. I hit it just a few times and there is a big hole in it. If you install panes like these in the green vault in Dresden, you don't have to be surprised when huge thefts happen. And that's what exactly happened there. At least a 100 million euros damage. The thieves broke the windows very quickly and I can tell you lots of cases like that. So how is burglar proof glass tested? Quite differently, with an X. First, it's hit with a blunt side. 12 times, then it's turned and hit with the sharp side. But in the standard, you try to knock out an axis opening of 40 by 40 centimeters. That means you spread the blows along that line, which is about 1.6 meters long. And the glass has to withstand it at least 30 blows or more until that opening is knocked out. Then you'll get the P6B glass certificate. Is that what happens in practice? No! We have seen over 3000 attacks on glass and no one has ever tried to knock out this opening. Burglars try to hit at one spot and that's what we're doing now. Here we go.
Yeah, that went pretty fast. This is conventional P6B glass. I brought you a pane like this. It consists of several glass plates which are connected with a foil. Here we have Silatec P6B glass, which looks completely different. There are several highly transparent plastics in between. We also want to attack the panes right away, but please do it in pairs. One takes the blunt side, one takes the sharp side. What a difference! A hole in a few seconds. Not here. Both are P6B glass. Conventional glass, this is Silatec glass. We did not test according to the standard. We hit it directly on one spot. Here with a sharp side and with a blunt side at the same time. Here it was not necessary to show both because there was a hole right away. And this is what happens in practice. That's how attackers would do it, targeting a spot and then try to quickly punch a hole in it. Very quickly succeeded, not here. At the same time, still thin and light. This makes doors easy to open. The green glass here is also relatively heavy. This means that the doors are more difficult to open. A reasonable security concept includes not only the glass, but also the window frame. If you would like to learn more about window frames, feel free to watch another video we did on the subject. I'll put the link in here. If you like the video and you're interested in seeing more, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.